everyone, right, um, I'm just going to show you this little canvas that I've done tonight. Um, I was sat waiting for Chris because she was doing a garage sale. And sell, 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 weren't you, love? Yes, I was. So say hello, Chris. Hello, Fiona and everyone. And we've got Patsy from Canada. Hello, Patsy. Hi. Hi, everyone. She's not that quiet normally, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the volume's down too low. <laughs> I said you're not that quiet. Yeah, that should be better. Hi. Yeah, you're not quite... <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> right, what I've got here is a, a canvas that I've done. Now, if you haven't been along and seen it, run along to Marion. What's Marion's... I can never remember the last of Marion's name. Squeaky what? Squeaky Esco, isn't it? Check it out then, Chris. <laughs> okay, I will. She's just going to check it out. Sorry, Marion, but I only know you as Marion and Squeaky. That's it. Real quick. I think it's Squeaky Esco, isn't it? I think it is, but let's check and make sure. I've got her on my thing, so. It is, yes. It's Squeaky Esco. So, so that's Esco. Squeaky Esco. And she made me um, a door hanger. Uh, for when I'm filming, uh, which I thought was absolutely amazing. She's done a fantastic job on it, and it's made with love, and I'm going to gracefully ex accept it now. <laughs> I want it now! How are you, Patsy? You all right, Chuck? I'm good. Fantastic. Again? Oh, freedom. Yeah. I've, got, I've had all four grandchildren here today. Oh, dear. Yeah, two's gone home. A bit, oh, no. It was a bit havocky, I wasn't it, Chris? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're all asleep. Well, the other two are asleep now. Uh, anyway, so, like I say, run along to um, Marion, that squeaky SCO, and have a look at what she's made me. Um, and Marion, I hope you like this, because this is for you as well, but I can't remember what your colour was. So I've done it purple, my colour. Because if she don't want it, I can have it back. <laughs> That's not nice, is it? I can, though, can't I, Marion? If you don't want it, I'll have it back, love. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking with you. But I've made you this as a way of saying thank you very much, Marion, because she's bought me a dress form. She has? Yeah. Cool. Have you got to see it yet? Well, I saw one that, you know, she bought others one as well, So, but she bought me one. She said, I didn't want to leave you out. And I know, she's no need to do that, but I very much appreciate it because you know I like my dress forms. Yes. So I've seen the kind she bought the others. Yeah. Ooh. And it's gorgeous. Gorgeous? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, um, well, I mean, this is to show you my appreciation, sweetheart. I'm... I loved what you did, the door hanger. No doubt I will leave it on all the time. Because she's put do not disturb us. No, in filming. Filming, that's right. She's written it like filming. Do you know, I've got a problem though. I'm on your door? Yeah, but I've got a problem. What? Mine ain't got a knob on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 girls. I didn't mean it like that. I'm on about it's not got a round one. Mine's got a flat one. So, it, well, it's the lang. That's your dirty minds. You know, just tip it in and it'll hang over. All right, then. Just work it in. That is your dirty minds. I know what you were thinking. I wasn't. <laughs> well, I am newly married. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. There's always a ball or a knob in my videos. <laughs> I put that acorn on that... Um, picture I did last night. I made an acorn you lot. You need to see it. In fact hang on a minute. Just sit there. Don't move because I'm free hands tonight. Just wait a minute. I've got to show you my acorn. You saw it didn't you? Yes I did. It looks a bit I... rude. Oh. <laughs> okay. You never guess what I made it out of Patsy but hang on I'll show you. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, I don't know if I can get it underneath here. Where are we? Uh oh. Can you see it sticking out there? Okay. Doesn't it look rude to you? 
No, it looks real. Yeah, but it looks real to me. You know, everything in nature kind of repeats itself. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to show you my homemade acorn. Look, you see that there? I made that acorn. And that, do you remember when I showed you the foam out the middle of the roses? Like an egg. Yeah. So I used a hat pin. If you can see, a hat pin. And sh well, I shaved it off at the top so it wasn't surrounded. And then use the hat pin. And it's only a styrofoam that they put in the middle of the roses. And this was string beads, uh, seed beads. And I wrapped it round and then painted it all. And I've got an acorn look. I thought that was a good thing to think of. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It was, yeah. So that's that. But getting back to this, Marion, that's for you, sweetheart. Thank you very much for my gifts. Um, I loved them. And I hope you like this. You probably can only get about an inch picture in there. But you can take that off. Because it's uh, the way I've done it. And I'll tell you how I've used, uh, what I've used. I've used the um, modelling paste on the background. And if you can see... The kind of lines, I'm just trying to show it at an angle. Well, for that, I used this, which is... Oh, get off. The netting. Put your modelling paste on, pop your netting on, rub your fingers over it, peel it off. Don't pull it off, peel it off. And it makes that texture, like a snake skin. Uh, and I've got it on this end as well. And then I've just used the... Um, uh, crackle paste. That I did on these sections, this side and this one. Um, and then just use the, is it Luminaire? Lumiere paints? Lumiere. Yeah. Um, just to colour it up and then some, um, uh, yeah, mica powders to brush over it. Um, the rose was actually a light purple, so I've used the same colour that I've used on the background with the paints. And then edged it in the rubber buff, the gold, the Inca gold. And it just looks fab. Added some velvet leaves in. I've left these flowers white just for contrast. Some nice coloured diamonds. And a little pearl that I've coloured with the Copic markers. And then this is a rosette from uh, S um, uh, Emmet. Oh, what's it called now? What do you call her? My, my uh, Annie. Miss, Miss Garden Grove. So that's the rosette from her. And this is a flower I bought at Scarborough. So there you go. That's it. It is coming on a stand here, Marion. I've just knocked everything over. I hope you like it. I hope you like my acorn. I love it. And uh, thanks for watching. You're going to say bye-bye, girls, and then we can have a gab. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you all soon. Bye-bye for now. i show you. Well, I won't show you then. I won't show you. But you, I, I'm just going to have to join this bit of film onto the um, film of this. Because when these two silly buggers said bye-bye, they were waving. They're not, they're not even on camera. And they're waving. <laughs> you ninnies, what do you wave? You do wave, actually, don't you? Yeah, we did. We waved bye-bye. Both of them time. sat there and waved bye-bye. <laughs> they pick them up at six o'clock tonight. I'll have to get the jackets on, though. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, you can't take them anywhere. See you soon. I'll wave. Bye-bye for now.